everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a custom metadata type in your Salesforce org. So to do that, let's go ahead and jump in to setup. So we're gonna click the gear icon and then go to setup. All right, from here, we are going to search. Oh, we're gonna exit out of that and search custom metadata types and double click. All right, now before we get into it, let's talk about what custom metadata types are and what they are used for. So custom metadata type is essentially just a big folder for you to put declarative and other types of settings and changes into when you are moving it between different orgs. So let's take this example. So if we were in a sandbox and we were developing a project management system custom through Salesforce, so you'd have different objects like projects, project types, um, and then you might have some automations along with that as well, where you'd have like flows to help you um, automate the processes that you would have associated with a project management system. You would put, you'd create a custom metadata type and you would go ahead and put all of those project management system metadata things like of course objects and flows and other changes that you would like to do into that folder and then you would go ahead and either use a change set or you would use a package or another way of moving that around so let's go ahead and create that project management system type metadata type project management system all right and i'm just gonna copy paste that and have it be systems um, it does not start with a value, val, blah, blah. it does not start with a val. And then we can add a description. Now, I think it's really important to add descriptions. If you are going to be having a lot of different admins or developers on the back end change and use this, especially if it's not too self-explanatory of a label, or if you want to kind of keep out some types of things from this metadata type. Um, it's a really great way to say, hey, we want this, 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 and this here, the other types. You can select the visibility. I'm just gonna keep it how it is and hit save. Alrighty, and now we have our custom metadata type. So now we can go ahead and add all the different settings and different things to our metadata type. Again, it's just pretty much a folder for you to house changes that you wanna make. But with that being said, that is how you create a custom metadata type. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the courses down below or in the description box or on salesforceupscale.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at EmilyCallMBA. Uh, thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.